We started the Austin Stone in 2002. Our heartbeat from the beginning was very simple. We wanted to come and we wanted to build a church where, where Jesus Christ was put to the forefront. We wanted to start a church that people could encounter the presence of the living God. And we wanted to start a church where people could come and be equipped to live on mission in the city of Austin, Texas. Why missional communities are so critical to the life of our church is the realization we came to at the beginning, or I wouldn't say the beginning, but about halfway into the 10 years we've been doing ministry here that the traditional model of community groups, so to speak, weren't working. And so we, we, began, we went back to the draw, drawing board and began to think, what if we modeled our small groups after how Jesus modeled his small group? He had, he had 12 guys. He discipled them, he poured his life into them, and then this small group of men was on mission together. We got our small groups, we changed the name from community groups to missional community groups, and then we encouraged every single one of those small groups to live on mission together for the sake of the gospel in the neighborhood, the school, the, the, the business, the environment that God had placed them in. You know, it's, it's not an easy thing. There's problems, it's a difficult transition to make, but what we found is when we were aiming simply for community, we got neither community nor mission. But when we aimed for mission, we, bought, we got both mission and community. As these small groups lived and, and breathed and, and existed on mission together for the sake of the gospel, then an incredible biblical authentic community began to happen. And we, we've seen this happen in, in a variety of different ways in different contexts from college students uh, who see the need for the gospel amongst the set of international students who are here and who see the need that they have for a community uh, as well as a God. And, and they go and they, they engage regularly in places those people gather and they, they seek to be a blessing to them. They take them out and they teach them language and they, they take them on retreats together. But they not just meeting their needs, they share the good news of the gospel. And we've seen students come to Christ from other countries who barely speak the English language. A number of missional communities, and in fact, many people from our church community have engaged at the uh, at Reagan High School. Reagan is a school that has gone through a season of economic depression and they're struggling with uh, meeting uh, uh, some of the standards of the state in their tax scores. And, and so one of the ways that we rallied around is, is a number of missional communities is first and foremost by providing volunteers inside of the classroom. Our church collectively gathered 400 people to go and spend a year of their lives mentoring students inside of this community. But that wasn't just where it stopped. People from our church community who actually went and lived in the neighborhood and gathered in community and spent time with those students. The product is that we've seen a number of students come to faith in Christ. The product is we've, we've seen families reconciled back to one another. We've seen the poor cared for. We've seen the orphan adopted inside of our community through the faithful witness of our church in a few missional communities there in that neighborhood. That the gospel is taking root inside of our neighborhoods. The, the, the gospel is, is coming in power uh, to your everyday neighbors. Our hope is that for our missional communities is that these missional communities would engage in the spread of the gospel because they're compelled by the gospel to do that. In other words, as they as individual people are, are sitting there in church and thinking, God has moved heaven and earth. He's come to me when I hadn't earned it, when I didn't deserve it. He adopted me into his family as a, as a son, as a daughter. Now, because of that, I'm going to go into the world and I'm going to tell the world um, of that great love that the Father has for us. That's our hope for missional community, is that the gospel would be the engine. The gospel would be the reason that they're out there doing that, not because of any other reason. Social justice, because the church told them to, because it's just what good people do. We want them to engage in missional community because of the love of Jesus Christ.